Autumn Moon is a 1992 film directed by Clara Law and written by Eddie Ling Ching Fong. The film describes Hong Kong high school girl who befriends a 20-something Japanese man visiting Hong Kong. The ethereal background tones and grotesque arrangements create an ineffable atmosphere. The flexibility of the handheld camera to change the point of view of the narrative enhances the interest in the main line of the heroine's ravings. It leaves room for thoughtful reflection between the two different textures of the images. The entire film revolves around Pui Wai's growth and the transformation of her emotion. Moreover, she is considered typical of the state representative of the Hong Kong people during the 90s. As a junior high school girl, Pui Wai feels confused because of the emigration to Canada with her family. Her uncertainty about the future also manifests itself in unhappiness over the imminent departure of her friends. With this confusion and uncertainty about the future, she began to skip classes and wander the streets, where she met Tokyo. Her favorite restaurant is McDonald's because it is filled with all kinds of memories of her birthdays written by family and friends. But with her leaving for Canada, it means that these memories are going to be left behind in Hong Kong permanently. When two lonely souls meet, they are actually opening up each other's hearts. Pui Wai is afraid to approach the relationship because of her imminent departure. But Tokyo gave her the courage to take a big step toward the relationship. At the end of the movie, Tokyo and Peihui pass by the deserted village, with not much sadness because of the empty houses. Instead, they celebrate the Chinese Mid-Autumn Festival together. Better open your heart. What? We say open the heart. Hoi some. Hoi some. Hoi, open. Some, heart. Oh. Open the heart. Happy. The grandmother plays an important role, being the guardian of traditions. She performs actions characteristic of the national customs. For example, her kitchen contains a miniature Buddha temple to pray. She also taught her granddaughter these prayers. This role is also emphasized by the food at the table. The grandmother denies everything newfangled and modern. This attitude is demonstrated by her remarks at the table. Don't try to diet like your mother, plump girls are always more lovable. In addition, due to some immigration factors, grandma knew that his family would not take her to Canada, so grandma just hoped that her family would come back to Hong Kong to visit her when they had time. It doesn't matter if there is no time. Also, the grandmother's attitude to the ancient religion is once again demonstrated in the scene where she is in a hospital bed. She emphasizes her faith in the gods, urging them to protect her family. <laughs> The leading male character, Tokyo, first appeared with a video recorder in his hand, and he was recording his surroundings. The machine was equipped with a physical viewfinder, so he had to put his eye on it, making it natural for the director to show the audience what Tokyo saw through the footage. On his first day in Hong Kong, all he saw were twisty roads, metallic skyscrapers, and signs written in unfamiliar characters. This complication of shots was a representation of Tokyo's feelings, helpless, solitary, and with no purpose. In the first half of the film, as Tokyo got used to the life in Hong Kong, he had temporal sexual relationships with several females, and his recorder focused more often on cute ladies, revealing his playboy nature. When Pui Wai's grandmother was hospitalized, and Pui Wai was hanging out with her crush by the sea, Tokyo visited Grandma. Grandma thought she would not make it this time, so she left her last words, after hearing Grandma's last words. When Tokyo was once again with his sexual partner, he began to reconsider the purpose of his life, where this leading male character enriched and rounded his arc. He seemed indifferent about everything, but deep inside, he also craved care and finding meaning in his life. There is no love between the hero and heroine, but a familiar feeling links them both. The film's final scenes are beautiful, with the heroes lighting lights and setting fireworks together, laughing and looking forward to the future. <laughs> Let's 
小楼，小楼作夜。The last line that is not read out is believed to be the heart of the film. Hong Kong citizens were anxious about the future following the June 4th student movement in 1989. Before the return of Hong Kong to China, there was a wave of emigration, with the middle class emigrating abroad. Against this backdrop, the director has made this film, in which the characters have no solid desires or motives. Behind the director's seemingly calm and objective camera work lies a sense of helplessness and irony.